come out and you see like how, how they really live and you're not just sitting there watching on TV. First hand you get to see like what the people's emotions are and their, how they were affected and it's, it's really like eye-opening like when you actually come down and see like you're five feet from a house that was just completely demolished or a hotel with all the windows blown out and it's like it's it's different from back in Long Island. Eh, todo colapsó, techo de, de las casas, las calles, los árboles, los postes. Por ende, las casas se agrietaban y ahora Nahama nos está ayudando a restaurar esos techos. Y este es el tipo de, de esfuerzo que uno prefiere que no suceda, pero que gratifase enormemente cuando, cuando uno tiene la oportunidad de ayudar. Bueno, todavía siento la alarma, eh, los camiones de la defensa civil alertándonos a que saliéramos. So, today we went out uh, like 10 minutes from our host location and it was a gentleman's house and he had a concrete foundation, the first floor, second floor was all wood and we basically gutted all the sheathing they had around which is all just wood. We pulled it all out and then we left just the bare like 2 by 4 structure. We pretty much just gutted the whole thing and took off his roof and everything and it takes about under 4 days to probably gut the whole thing. El huracán ha destapado una una caja de Pandora de asuntos eh, muy eh, importantes para Puerto Rico eh, que en realidad eh, no se van a, a, a mejorar de inmediato. Today actually the gentleman came outside after we worked for like four hours straight and we took a break for a second. He was he was ecstatic, he's trying to show us his chickens and his dog and everything. We're talking to him and he's he was really happy, he was really pleased that we we're out there doing the work for him and the gratitude you can see it on his face. Todavía Puerto Rico necesita bastante ayuda. Porque ahora mismo aquí no hay cama, madre no sirve. De esto yo aprendí mucho. Lo poco que tú ves este ahí, la familia de que es esposo mío, pues siguieron haciendo recolecta de unos entregos y me trajeron eso porque nos quedamos pedidos sin nada. O sea, aquí se partieron unos fondos, unas tarjetas de 1500 dólares. Pero a esta parte de aquí no nos llamaron. Entonces, eh, de algo muy negativo, de una crisis eh, extraordinaria, ha surgido una relación sustantiva entre las universidades, entre UNICEF y USA, que, eh, que nosotros podemos eh, utilizar en el futuro como modelo para responder. Muy, muy contenta. Y veo que Dios siempre tiene ángeles en el cielo y nunca nos abandona. Just being here, I have a good amount of construction knowledge. It's really great to see like you can actually make a really big difference with whatever you know.